What's up, YouTube? This is the big face trucker coming at you. I'm just gonna do uh, just engine cab pre-trip for the new CDL guys that wants to go to CDL school. Maybe they could pick something up here. Uh, I'm not saying that I know it all, but I'm gonna see if I'm still got still got it. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do, right? I'm gonna walk out to the front with the inspector. He's gonna be standing in the front probably. And then you're going to go like this. You're going to point with your hand like that. See that finger? I broke it fighting. But uh, you're going to point at the top. You're going to work your way from the top to the bottom. All right? Lights is amber. All of them are working. All right? Then you work your way down. Windshield, not cracked, not broken. Wind, wind seal or seal, not cracked, not broken, not missing. Then you go on down to your lights. Lights are working, all in amber. Then you look underneath your truck, make sure there's nothing underneath. You say there's no leaks. I see no leaks underneath the truck, all right? So then you walk up to your driver's side, all right? Walk up to your driver's side, pop your hood. Bam, 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 all right? Pop it. Then you walk around to your passenger side, all right? Walk to your passenger side, pop your hood. Bam, bam, bam. Open your hood, all right? Instructor's going to probably be standing right behind you or whatever. So you want to either point with your hand, and you want to start from the motor. You start from the motor and work your way out, all the way out to your seals down here, all right? Usually that would be open, all right? But when you do your pre-trip, make sure you look at the movable parts, the parts that's most important that can shake loose, or you're going to say, you know, not cracked, not broken, not missing. Air condition, not cracked, not broken. Belt, not cracked, not broken. All right. Hoses, not cracked, not broken, not leaking. All right. Anything that leaks, any kind of fluid, any kind of air goes in, leaking. Turbo, not cracked, not broken, not leaking, not missing. All right. So you work your way out. Alternator, same thing. Bolts all there. All right. Work your way out on your chassis. Check, put your hand on your chassis. Not cracked, not broken. All right? You're working your way out now. Put your hand on the shock, on your, on your shock right there. Shock, not cracked, not broken. Bottom, not cracked, not broken. Leaf springs, not cracked, not broken, not missing. All right? Then you go to your brake lines. Not cracked, not broken, not leaking. All right? Now you're already out here. Okay? Sometimes you can reach down and touch your center link down there. That's your, like your center link, your main bar, however you want to call it. All right. You can actually touch it. I don't think inspectors go that deep. They didn't go that deep when I took my test, but to be careful, you can do that. You know what I'm saying? So you start working your way you, to, to your, you know, your slack adjusters. You work to your, your brakes, everything. You make sure you t tell them the death of the brakes, which uh, I kind of forgot. But uh, you could always look that up in the book. But the tires right here, you know, they two thirty seconds, and then um, <clears throat> I believe the brakes one one quarter inch or something like that, quarter inch or something. Then you work your way from your tire. You rub your hand on the top of the tire. You look for flat spots, anything like you know a busted belt in the tire. If you don't feel, it, you work your way out to your lug nuts, and you check and see if you got rust around. That means the lug nut is loose. So you let them know, you know, but, it, you know, you just say, I don't see no rust around the lug nuts, not cracked, not broken, not missing. And then you see, you look at your seal, not cracked, not broken, not leaking. All right. So now you're on your passenger side and you go to your driver's side. All right. To them, some of these things is probably good to know. You know, you know the, where your parts at, your water pump, you know what I'm saying? Not cracked, not broken, not leaking. Your hose is not cracked, not broken, not leaking. Everything is no not cracked, not broken, or leaking. You just could put your hand on not cracking up broke. Now but you know what I'm saying? Put your hand make sure you put your hand on the shaft. Shake it. Make sure it's no play in it. Alright? Then you go down here. To one of your stabilizer bars. Shake it. Make sure you touch all these parts. Checking, you know, make sure you let him know you're shocked. Not cracked, not broken. All right? Leaf springs, not cracked, not broken, not missing. 
All right. Also, you go to same thing with the brakes over here, like you did on the same. Do the same thing. Brakes, everything. Drums not cracked, not broken. Tires. Uh, you know, you you work your way from your tires all the way out. Same thing on this side. All right. And then basically, you got that you got that engine car compartment down. In Georgia, when I went down there, that's all I had to do right there. All right. Then we worked our way inside for the leak down test. But don't forget, all you new guys, all right, I was in a day truck. I wasn't in a sleeper. So I was in a day truck. It made the, made me getting the backing up and the parking and everything was much, much easier. All right. If you train in a day truck, just remember, when you get in a sleeper, all right, when you get in a sleeper, it's going to be a little bit different backing up. But make sure if you train in a day cab, go take the test in a day, day cab. If you train in a sleeper, take the test in a sleeper. But what I forgot was this. The most important thing, safety. Safety is a very important thing. You got to show some safety when you're doing this thing. You know what I mean? So that's about it. Coming from the big face trucker, a quick little uh, engine compartment pre-chip. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm continuing waiting on my... Uh, trailer to be unloaded. I've been here for four hours. You know I'm going to get some detention time. So that's something they don't do at the uh, <clears throat> Big Orange. <clears throat> so I'm going to holler at y'all. <laughs> All right. Y'all hold it down. Peace.